this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Something big is happening in Pet Simulator? What? New game? Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Russo Plays with the Russo Plays YouTube channel, and I hope you're having a fantastical day. If you're not, you are literally about to, because I'm about to blow your mind with this news, okay? A lot of you guys might know that. <laughs> Breaking news! I am now a news channel. Da 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 da! Roblox drama alert. Hey, I am in the game Pet Simulator. Before we go into this news and all of this stuff, you gotta smash that like button, okay? This is is huge and could be very big for roblox and also very big for a potential new game to come out i am so excited this video needs 10,000 likes no less i know you can do it also subscribe if you haven't already because i'm gonna give you guys all the info on this as soon as it comes out now let's talk about what preston aka big game simulators aka the creators of pet simulator and pet simulator 2 just released on twitter let's start with twitter and go to the beginning of this story. This is how everything started. On July 19th, about four days ago, they tweeted something big soon. Now, we know big games, build into games, is their development company, so we're assuming that's a new game. But then, today they tweeted this, get your pets ready, July 29th, 11 a.m. CST with a countdown timer. Now, I first thought something was happening in Pet Simulator. So I went over to Pet Simulator. A lot of people were hitting me up and they're like, dude, Pet Simulator is going to get a big update, right? Pet Simulator, the game that basically made my career. If you don't know about this game and you're newer to simulators or newer to my channel, this game holds a lot of value to me and my community because this was the first big simulator on my channel and it took off the channel and we haven't looked back since. Now, in six days, there is a countdown timer with question marks in Pet Simulator 1. And you might be thinking, why would they update Pet Simulator 1? I mean, Pet Simulator 1 still has like a lot of players, to be honest, but it's really just newer players. I don't think people are really like super far into the game anymore because it kind of got complicated. Like when you teleport to like the moon and like the new areas, it just gets a little bit complicated. There's so many areas with so many different pets and so many different currencies and it starts to get confusing and i think that's why they wanted to make this next game which was pet simulator 2. but i thought you know if there's a countdown in pet sim 1 there must be an update coming to pet sim 1 right until i saw this i went over to pet simulator 2 and oh and to my surprise the countdown is also here so here's what i'm thinking I'm thinking that it wouldn't make sense for them to update Pet Sim 1 and update Pet Sim 2. Why would they do that? Why would they update both pet simulators, have two competing games, and also update games that haven't been updated in years and risk not really getting the players back or having people grind? Like, the problem with Pet Sim 1 was that it got a little bit too complicated with a bunch of currencies and a bunch of pets, super high numbers, and it just got a little bit confusing. The problem with Pet Sim 2 was that it basically, it had like this thing at the beginning where the VIP pass was making you super OP and the level up was a little bit too much, like you leveled up way too fast. And then also this was kind of an issue. When you click, you have to pick up the stuff, which was kind of annoying in Pet Sim 1, you click and you just get the stuff. You don't have to pick it up. And VIP was supposed to give you, oh, there's trading. VIP was supposed to give you an auto pickup, but they never added that. They took that away and you never got the auto pickup. So that's a little bit sad that they did that. But regardless, I think Pet Simulator 2 was, I mean, Pet Sim 1 was just the OG, but the, as far as like the UI, the, the builds, the pets, everything was better in Pet Sim 2. But again, look at the levels. It just, the, the level thing got kind of weird. My thing is, they're either gonna, one, update Pet Simulator 1, or two, update both of the games, or three, the most sensible theory, make an entire new game, Pet Simulator 3. Now, I don't know if they're gonna call it Pet Simulator 3, or I don't really know what exactly they're thinking, but I'm hoping it's a brand new game. If it's not a new game, I don't know why they would update both of these games. 
especially this one because the level system and everything just got so bad i mean the pets looked really cool even though they're boxy they look really nice with their different textures and they they looked really good but i don't think they would update this game maybe pet sim one because it's still doing well but it still would be weird if they updated that so that's my opinion that's all i think you guys can let me know what you think's gonna happen let me know your theories let me know your comments questions concerns in the comments below I, I don't know if I should because I haven't streamed on this channel, but should I like stream this or something? I don't know. Maybe I'll just make a video and I'll like premiere it or something. I, I don't really know what I'm going to do, but this moment is going to be really, really cool. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. That's going to be in six days. I'll definitely be making videos on it and potentially even stream it. Maybe if this video gets 10,000 likes, who knows? Now, I want to talk about the best things about PetSim 1 and the best things about PetSim 2 so that hopefully Preston or anybody that's worked on this new game is listening and they can, you know, potentially, uh, <laughs> they can potentially, uh, you know, uh, add some of this stuff because I don't want another flop. I'm just saying. Pet Sim 2 came out and was a flop in a lot of people's eyes, but for me, it just had way better aesthetics. Let me just show you guys all of the UI just to show you one thing that I really like about it. First of all, I liked the level up system and the XP and the experience bar. It was all great. They messed up the level balancing, in my opinion. You leveled up way, way too fast. So if they do have a level up system, it just seemed like it was way too OP or the VIP was too, I, I don't know what, I don't remember what the glitch was, but I remember there was like a way to level up like really fast or something. And that kind of ruins the progression. Then, oh, there's another trait. <laughs> then the pet UI, way better in this version of the game. It looks so nice. It, it's just easy to use and you know what to do. And it's it's really, really nice. So I'm I'm really glad that they updated the UI in this version. And there's so many options. The multi-delete is satisfying and it's easy to use and it's quick and it it's it's really well designed. So I definitely think the UI should be similar to this or obviously it should be like new and fresh, but this functionality is really good. The next thing that they added in Pet Sim 2 that they didn't have in Pet Sim 1 was this, the upgrades. This was free stuff that you unlock as you play the game. So they were trying to market this game as, you know, not pay to win, you can't buy anything in the game, nothing is purchasable. The only thing that they had purchasable was the VIP pass, which accidentally ruined the game because it gave like a really OP pet and it, it was a little bit pay to win on that side. But they tried, at least they tried to make it not pay to win. I, I see what they were doing. They just wanted one thing in the game and that kind of messed it up, which is unfortunate, but wait, what does that say? Oh, I thought that said early access to new games. Play in new worlds, yeah. Okay, so that's another thing. In Pet Sim 1, they literally just had zones. You just walk, 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 boom, I'm in a new zone. But in Pet Sim 2, they took it to another level. Stop trading me, you fools. Pet Sim 2, they took it to another level. Look at this, they had this whole area that you traverse really really appealing aesthetic good lighting nice area nice builds then you go up here and you go through a cannon when you get enough xp when you get enough levels you literally shoot through a cannon now this feature was awesome look at the ui here it's just a sleek loading screen and it worked out really really nicely and smooth i really hope they keep that feature or do something similar to that and they don't do zones look at every area like this is the beach area it's an entire world of coins, pickups, different things, pets, etc., which I really, really liked. However, it was kind of weird that the world was so extra big. I mean, I like that the world's big and vast, but like, look at all that empty space out there. Maybe they should add something. If they're gonna make it like big, wait, they added hoverboard. Oh yeah, I forgot they added hoverboards in this. That's something I never unlocked because you had to play for 24 hours and pick up a lot of drops. But that was really, really cool. Hoverboards? Dude, I wish I got one. That actually looks sick. Which brings me to my next point. Pickups were way too annoying in my opinion. I don't know how you guys feel, but in Pet Sim 1, you click the coins and then you just get everything. In this game, there's various things you can get, but you have to actually click them. <coughs> The reason this was way more tedious and annoying was because it was just much, much harder to grind and like grind without paying attention as much. You know what I mean? Like you could grind pets in by just kind of clicking, clicking, clicking. You could even set up auto clickers and stuff. With this one, it was a lot harder. And I think that's important for simulators to have people that are AFKing or playing like that. 
I will say the egg design, the pet design, and the UI is easily the cleanest out of both of the games and most pet games I played. It's just a simple white border and background, but look at the pets and the, the way they look, the renders, the, the text. It looked really, really cool. Something I really hope they have in the new one is an index. I really hope they have an index so that you can see all the pets because I don't think they have one in this. And uh, I want to collect all the rarest stuff. You know what I'm saying? And with the, the areas, every time you're in a zone, you can spawn, you can go back to spawn with a cannon and then you can go to the new areas with a cannon. It's, it's, it's pretty sick. I really like this way of traversing the map. Also had the Goldify machine and the Rainbow machine. So they changed a lot as far as crafting goes. In Pet Sim, you just crafted. But in this game, and uh, in, in this game, instead of getting goldens and all that by just crafting in your UI menu, you actually had to go up to this machine to goldify pets. So you'd go up here, you click the pets, and based on how many you choose to craft, it gives you a percentage chance to get a golden. Now, while I really like this, it also was less satisfying, like, or it was more satisfying getting the actual crafted pet, but it was also kind of like less feasible. I don't really know. Like, I really liked it and I, I hope they keep this, but I'm starting to think maybe a lot of players didn't like it as much because in normal games, you can just go, oh, I got five of this pet craft. Let me do it. But then technically I could craft four of these and I could lose it. I could literally lose this. I got the success rate, but I had a 63% chance. So I potentially could have gotten not a golden elephant there, but I did, which is awesome. It's actually a really good pet. But yeah, that was a that was like a risk that I just ran by doing that. And if I go again and I only choose one, look at this. That's probably a fail. Yeah. So when you use one, it's literally just throwing away a pet and it's like it's not even worth it. And it costs gems. So it is something that made the game kind of more exciting, but I, I don't know if they would bring it back. Let me know what you guys think. I basically just wanted to talk about all of the concept. Oh, that was a good one. I basically just wanted to talk about all the different concepts in this game and Pet Sim 1 and see which features that we hope that they carry over. So I think it's safe to say like the styling of the pets are really, really nice in Pet Sim 2. They're better than Pet Sim 1 by far. Even though they're boxy, they have this unique shape to them. They have this cartoonized texture and they just look a lot more quality than most games. And I really, really like them. The UI, the eggs, and the opening. All of that is pretty nice. The opening isn't that special, but that's pretty satisfying, that little animation. So I definitely like all of those features and I hope those return or get upgraded in some way. As you can see in Pet Simulator 1, I mean, these pets were not nearly, nearly as good. They looked kind of ridiculous if you think about it, but this was back when they looked revolutionary. Like there wasn't many Roblox games with pets. They're literally just blocks, but they had this unique kind of style at the time because they didn't use textures. They used parts, I think, for the eyes. And it I don't really know if they did, but it, it looked kind of good at the time. Looking back, I definitely prefer the Pets M2 pets, of course. Even the coins, the chests, and all of the build style is much better in Pets M2, in my opinion. But I'm not saying it's a better game. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I don't know if Preston's gonna watch this. I don't know if Big Games is gonna watch this, but if they do, leave your comments below. I wanna see if we can somehow influence them to add or change or take away certain things, or maybe, maybe they weren't working on a new game and now they're gonna work on a new game. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, ultimately, even if they just update Pet Sim 1 and 2, I'll play both of them. I'll make videos on them. I think it'll be cool but I just think that updating a game like this makes no sense because like, I don't even remember where I'm at in the game. I don't even remember like what kind of pets are good or bad. I have so many pets that are just like from different areas and limited time. And it just got so, there, there's a time with simulators where they just get confusing. There's just like, it gets to the point where like, there's been so many updates that the numbers have just inflated so high. Everything gets so confusing and I don't even know what's good or bad anymore or what's, I don't even know, you know what I mean? So it's a little bit confusing playing a game after a few years that hasn't really had updates and that's just kind of gotten too far deep in the currency and the changing and all that stuff. But that being said, I'm excited for whatever this is. Leave your theories of what you think is gonna happen in the comment section below. I'm excited because this is ultimately really big for us and our channel brings new content 
and I'm excited to see what they got. So make sure you guys like the video if you haven't already, subscribe if you're new, but most importantly, comment down below what you wanna see in this new game if they're adding a new one or in this update for Pet Sim 1 or 2. I'm assuming it's gotta be a new game because the portal is in both games. They're not just gonna choose one and I don't think they would update both. It would really be weird. So July 29th, we gotta be on the lookout. I'll see you guys then. But until then, I upload two videos a day, so make sure you subscribe, like the video if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and goodbye!